Mountain Heath. Today I'm going to go through for you the Key Stage 1 Bubble English Lesson for Wednesday. And we're going to go through compounds and complex sentences. Now, this first bit on compound sentences is targeted towards Year 1. However, if you are Year 2, 3 and you've forgotten, which is absolutely fine, you can have a listen as well. So, a compound sentence I like to call a burger sentence, okay, because we have two clauses like two buns and we pop it together with a burger and on our burger we have an and. Now, the first bit, the first clause, the first bit of our sentence is going to be the dragon is dancing in the street. Perfectly good clause. It is a beautiful sentence on its own, but we're going to make it even better. We're going to add a second clause and that is going to say everyone is having fun. Now, to make it a compound sentence, I need to add my burger. To make it a burger, I need to add my patty. And the patty is going to have an and on it. We pop it all together and it makes a perfect compound sentence or a perfect burger. The dragon is dancing in the street and everyone is having fun. I'm going to have a go at writing my own now about my beautiful Chinese New Year pictures. And I know you've been learning lots about Chinese New Year, so you're going to have some brilliant ideas to tell me. So, people celebrate with presents. Now, we know that, and that would be a beautiful sentence on its own. However, I'm going to make it part of my clause, and I'm going to add another bit. The streets explode with colour. Now, the streets don't really explode, do they? Because that would be a bad thing. But it just means there's lots and lots of colour around. To make it a compound sentence, what do I need to add? An and. Well done. Both se people celebrate with presents and the streets explode with colour. What a fabulous compound sentence. Let's have a go at another one. Still got my pictures to help me. Children are given money. Now we know children are given money in Chinese New Year and it is to wish them luck in that New Year. Okay. Adults are given messages from children, much like Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, Easter, whenever you choose to celebrate, you send your adult cards, Chinese New Year, children send their adults messages. Now, perfect sentence on its own, but I'm going to make it a compound sentence. So what do I need to add? An and, perfect, well done. So children are given money and adults are given messages from children. OK, so now it's your turn on this idea, on this one, you need to have a go at doing number two. You're joining these sentences with an arrow. So I might just draw an arrow. Families have a special dinner. And. Give each other gifts. Perfect. I'm going to then rewrite my sentences for number three. And number four, I would like you to have a go at writing your own using this picture. I know you can do it. Blow my socks off. OK, now, if you are past this stage and you think you have nailed this, I want you to have a go at the next one. And that is going to be complex sentences. All right. Now, for a complex sentence, we're going to use something slightly different, not just and. This is tailored towards two, three, but if we've got any aspirational Antonalians in year one and you want to try this, then go ahead. Now, a complex sentence use a, uses a subordinating conjunction. What is a subordinating conjunction I hear you say? It is one of these. So it is something like after, because, if, although, okay? And it just extends our sentence and makes it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to have a go at writing my own. I've got my pictures again to help me. People exchange presents. Perfectly good clause, but a little bit boring. The streets explode with colour. Now, like I've said, they don't actually explode, but it just it, it's, a, it's a bit of personification, really, isn't it? Or a metaphor even. Now, I'm going to add a subordinating conjunction to make it a little bit more interesting. And I've chosen while. So people exchange presents while the streets explode with colour. Now, if you wanted to make that even better, you could add in some adjectives, an expanded noun phrase. Just blow my socks off. Let's have a go at another one. Got my pictures again to help me. Children are given money. Now, we said they're given money to help them in the new year. 
tradition is very important. So the tradition of Chinese New Year is very important. And actually, a lot of people do celebrate this. Now, these are two perfectly good clauses, but a little bit boring. So let's have a go what, see what I've put in. Children are given money because tradition is very important. Now, we've already spoken about tradition and money, and it means that children are wished well into their new year. And that's a very important tradition in the Chinese New Year culture. Now, again, these are your challenges, and I want you to woe me. OK, so you have been given lots and lots of different sentence starters. And I want you to use your subordinating conjunctions to add in a little bit more information. Now, if you need help, there are pictures of Chinese New Year online to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like you to try your best. And I cannot wait to see what you produce. Enjoy. Have fun.